Hi guys, it's me, Techno Girl. I am about to take a walk because I haven't been out in about a month now, I guess. So, let's go. <laughs> I don't have my headphones in today, so I'm just unprepared all Activity around. Activity started. The heavens are smiling upon you. <laughs> all right. So, it's pretty uh, bright out here. And it's warm, too. I'm not going to walk... Um, talking a lot anyway so yeah I'm not gonna walk too fast because I haven't been out like I said I guess it's been about a month yeah I step outside to take out the garbage and uh, uh, well not to well sometimes I'll check my mail and um, it's right in the lobby, so I'll step right outside that door and soak in a little sunshine, but nothing substantial. All right, we're gonna stop right here, and I'm going to get my notes. I got some notes. I've been writing them up whenever they come to mind so I can you know, have something to talk to you guys about. Oh, well, one, first of all, let's make sure you guys are doing okay. I hope everybody is well and staying safe and uh, just being okay. Uh, I'm not okay. I'm really not okay. Um, I haven't seen my doctor and she was supposed to, because I had been asking her to, uh, to refill my, my medications. Well, at least the ones, you know, for my depression and anxiety and things are not getting better for me. Um, I had a huge, I guess, argument. I was doing most of the arguing with Brittany, but, uh, we had an argument on Friday, and so I haven't talked to her since, but she sent me something on, um, on Saturday saying that she was going to come out and visit with me but I I asked her not to and um, uh, you know it's just a mess this whole thing is a mess but you know tensions are high right now people you know people don't want to people don't want to uh, they don't want to stay at home. They don't want to wear masks. 
Um, you know, I'm not close to where Brittany lives or her father, so my family is far away. And I'm such a pussy. I'm afraid to get on the bus. I'm afraid of a uh, Uber car ride. And I'm really afraid to uh, just ride in the car with anybody. So, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess I was upset because um, we were gonna do a Zoom meeting. And, um, you know, I said, okay, well, to coordinate it, call your father and Mr. Lando and get it all set up. So she said, okay, well, I'll talk to Lando, you talk to dad. So I called her father and, you know, he's all like, oh yeah, you know, Brittany went up north this weekend and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she told me all about it. And, you know, it just pisses me off when people tell me shit about my daughter, even her father, that um, almost as if I don't matter. You know, you know, she's like, oh, well, he called me and that's how he found out. Well, I mean, we text all the time and it's just, I just don't like the way it makes me feel. It really pisses me off for somebody to know more about my daughter than I do. And I gave birth to her. And I'm, I'm just, uh, ugh, it just hurts my feelings. Anyway, so, I you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still pissed about it because it's almost as if she doesn't care to understand how I feel. So, uh, it just, it bothers me. I'm losing fucking sleep. I'm losing my mind, and I can't even walk a fucking block without stopping to breathe. And I'm afraid to be out here. I mean, these folks are just out here, honey. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just over it. Uh, well, I ended up getting, I'm gonna change the subject now. I ended up getting a um, a portable washer slash spinner um, for my apartment. Um, they had, um, you know, a couple of months back, uh, right when um, right when we found out about all this coronavirus stuff. I think it's like February or March. I took the, uh, I took the little uh, uh, non eligibility application. Uh, me and my case manager at the time, we took it and I qualified. So I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think, you know, they were going to do anything for the vets, to be honest with you. And um, in, was it May? It may have been May or June. Uh, maybe June. Let's see, I had it in June because Brittany and her father came over. Uh, so maybe May. And um, they delivered it to us. I got one, a couple of my neighbors got one, and um, you know, it was really cool. I was able to, I was so excited about having it that I was able to wash all the clothes in my apartment. <laughs> so everything's clean, except for what I'm wearing right now. Um, and it doesn't do like, uh, you know, comforters or rugs. Although I, I do have a couple of small rugs that I was able to to wash. Um, and uh, 
you know, it was really nice to have. So I had been pushing Brittany to get one. And, uh, and um, you know, she had, she's still deciding, I guess. She hasn't said anything to me about the washer dryer or washer spinner. You know, a lot of people on the internet are calling it a dryer, but it's not necessarily a dryer. It just spins so hard and fast that it seems like your clothes are not really wet, but more uh, as if they had been misted or something. So it only takes about, you know, maybe 15 to 30 minutes for them to dry, depending on what it is. It could be, uh, it could be uh, like jeans. They'll take a long time. So, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I just want to tell you guys about that. Uh, that's something that had happened um, since we last talked. Okay. Um, uh, shout out to uh, Monica from uh, MJ and J Mukbangs. How you doing, girl? How the babies? Hope everybody's fine. Uh, and also, Monica, uh, Team Mojo. Um, shout out to you and, and your family of fur buddies and, and your husband. I hope you guys are doing well. But I think I talk to you much more now than I used to. So from my understanding, you've been searching for gold and I hope you found some. Um, let's see. Nothing's going on at the building. Uh, one of my neighbors, he got sick and not with coronavirus, but just regular, uh, not regular health issues. But I did tell you guys that he has cancer. And so he has a number of medical issues that are going on. And he's like my best neighbor friend in the building. So I've been kind of lonesome without him. And uh, so it's just me and, and Meatloaf. And uh, Meatloaf, <laughs> he's developed quite a routine um, he used to wake me up in the mornings to feed him and well at least that's what I thought he was waking me up for because now what I've been doing is I'll put some dry food in his dish so he doesn't have to wake me up in the morning but he still wakes me up <laughs> and honey I get mad ah. <laughs> but uh you know, that's what he does. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know what this one was about. I wrote down lockdown on base, groceries okay, writ no. <laughs> so, so that's interesting. Uh, um, well, I told you guys, Brittany and her father came over um, for uh, Father's Day. Um, I told you guys, they made a, um, oh, they made a, uh, let me see now. <laughs> Cha. They made a, a mandatory, uh, I guess called mandatory mandate, <laughs> or a mandate that everyone in the building that are going to be in the halls, good morning, that are going to be, you know, walking around the building to wear masks. But 
<sighs> Unfortunately, uh, not everybody is complying, which is another reason why I don't really leave my apartment because there are a couple of people that just don't get it, man. They just don't get it. And for some reason, they just want to be out and about. There are people that have been living there for, let's see, I've been there five years. So there are people that have been there, I mean, when I moved there, they were there and they never came out of their apartments, or you never saw them. And now, it seems as though they can't wait to leave out of their apartment without a mask. And, you know, that scares me because I know um, everybody in the building is sick, one way or another. And it's just so irresponsible and, uh, what's a word I can use? Uh, like uncaring. Um, they don't understand that the mask is not just for them, but for others. Only 15 minutes, what? <laughs> um, anyway, so that's my little pet peeve. Um, let's see. Um, obviously out of shape you guys have seen me stop and start and stop and start again uh, i'm having a a difficult time trying to keep myself from getting tired you know i've been doing weights for my arms i've been doing uh uh hula hooping um, I haven't done any planks, sad to say. Um, let's see, what else have I been doing? Uh, hula hoops. I got the arm exercise. I do a lot of arm exercises and uh, like waist exercises, but not the ones where you're laying on the floor. I think they call it the Russian twist. I don't do those. So there's hardly any any leg uh, work, you know what I mean? I don't do any anything that has to do with my legs, except for get up and sit down. And um, so when I walk, I'm getting totally out of breath because, you know, my heart needs to, you know, get the muscles built back up like they were before I stopped walking, at least my heart was strong enough where I could, uh, you know, walk and uh, I wouldn't have to stop so frequently. And I had a little pep in my step. I don't have any pep right now. This is basically just a leisure walk because I can't go any further. Well, I'm not gonna go any faster until, you know, I get everything built up again. Um, I have, I did gain some weight, but happy to say that um, over the past four days, um, it's gone down substantially. I was, at 209 pounds. Um, now I am at uh, now I'm at uh, 195. Um, now I'm at 195. This man has a dog, and I can't see if the dog has a a leash on him or not. And uh, that's it. That's all that's on my list. Um, I really thought huh, I was gonna be able to end this walk, 
pretty soon, but uh, not with that dog standing there. They came from, I guess they're on their way in my direction. And if I cross the street, every house on that block has a dog in the front yard. And uh, I don't like to hear them barking at me and everything. Oh, he exercising. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Don't know how long it's gonna take. Like they're doing something to the street up there. So they're getting ready to. Oh, he got two of them. Come on, have mercy. Okay, I see one leash. I see two leashes. Once he starts walking, I'll start walking. <laughs> We're at 20 minutes now. 10 more minutes and I think we'll be able to call it a call it a walk. My current speed is so slow. I just want to if I could just walk more um, what do you call it? Frequently, consistently. And my apartment is not really large enough to be able to walk around it. Good morning. And so basically I just be like walking around in circles because it's, you know, such a small place. <laughs> and uh, I get <laughs> I get dizzy. Um someone suggested to me that I do a uh uh an aerobic workout. Only problem with that is, you know, when I start them, and there's, there's, there's actually three that I had been uh, trying to do. And what happens is I'll get started and then, good morning, I'll get started and then I get winded and I'm unable to complete the set. You know, like I'll say we're gonna do 20 or something, or 20, 30 seconds of something. And so I'll get started doing the 30 seconds. And at about 20 seconds, I end up stopping. And so, you know, while they're doing the rest of the, the exercise, I'm resting up for the next one. So I haven't been able to complete a whole, uh, a whole, uh, I don't know, repetitions or a whole set. I don't know what they call it, but I haven't been able to complete a whole video of somebody coordinating me doing certain types of exercises. So that's the thing that's really bothering me the most. I want to be able to finish a whole, say, 15 minute routine. I don't know what they call them. Routine or something. Um, I'm gonna sit down again. All right. Hmm. Greater Los Angeles County water. Uh-oh. I don't think that's good. I don't think we're running out of water, but... Uh, you know what? Everybody <laughs> in this neighborhood is uh, some type of Asian. Uh, most of them are Filipinos. And 
absolutely every single one of them has an American flag in the front of their house. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I have a flag, but that's because I served in the Army. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just... If we could all feel like we were one person, uh, I think that, I don't know, I think it'll be a, I think it'll be a good thing. I'm kind of glad that I don't have small children right now during this particular time of civil unrest and all that other stuff. Um, because, I don't know, I don't feel like I'd be able to protect them. I pray for Monica and her kids all the time because, yeah, they're quite small. She does have a son. And um, yeah, I just I just pray for them. Are you still talking? All right. There's a little bit of an incline here at the um, this little junction or whatever. Who is he? He's wearing a police shirt and is carrying a sidearm. You can see he's got on a Kevlar. Oh, now I'm getting dizzy. Let me get my ass back in here before I pass out. Well, I haven't seen any uh, uh, coyotes. I think meatloaf sees them. He likes to sit in the window. Matter of fact, let's walk by and you know, see if he sits in the window now. Probably not. Because I get on his nerves <laughs> when I'm on the computer. He does not want me to pay attention to nothing but him. So that's interesting. and put out some water. I hope that's not for the coyotes. Where's my cotton? Oh, there it is. I see meatloaf. Can you guys see meatloaf? Let me see. Okay, let me, let me see if I can get you guys. Because y'all know how this stupid thing is. This camera does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. No, it won't let you see. Well, it won't let me see. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there's meatloaf. Hi, Meatloaf. Sitting in my window sill. Right. You know what? I'm going to go around the front. Because if I go around the back, it means I'm going to have to walk through the basement and then get on the elevator. <laughs> Cause I'm not taking the stairs. And then go through the first floor hallway. So I can avoid the basement by walking 
uphill like I'm doing and going through the front door. Oh my gosh. It's pretty warm. Yesterday it was 92 degrees. And then on Sunday, it was damn uh, 90, no, it was 102. I remember that. I'm gonna stop again. Lord have mercy. More people with no masks. Somebody passed away. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a, a white tent and it's got like a, one of those flower rings, I guess that you call them. And um, I didn't recognize the face, but there's a picture. Oh boy. Well. Almost there. Almost there. All right, we're at 30 minutes, guys. Hey, Meatloaf. I'm back. Oh, boy. Whew. All right, you guys. That is it for today's video. Oh, Meatloaf wants to say something. Yes, sir. You want to speak to everyone? Okay, Meatloaf says hi, everybody. And he's asking me where I've been. Okay, so again, we say that is it for today's video. Have a fantastic day. Be safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.